first week of the Winter and Christmas STEM Challenges. Week one, Candy Cane Calamity. The premise for this one is the students are going to design a package to ship candy canes and they're trying to do the lightest weight package that gets the candy canes there undamaged. Before I go any further, let's take a quick look at the materials and the STEM challenge cycle. This is the STEM challenge cycle you should follow for every challenge. I've defined each step in another video. I've added a pop-in card to that video here, as well as a link in the description. A quick note about materials, if you prefer to use cookies, you can substitute that and make a cookie calamity challenge. I usually use two candy canes per group, but you're going to want to have some extra on hand in case some come to you damaged or in case students accidentally damage some while they're testing out their designs. You're also going to want to remove those candy canes from whatever packaging they come in before the challenge so that students don't just copy whatever the packaging materials are that were used. The students will be recording the total weight of the package and whether or not there was any damage to the candy canes. And we're looking for the lightest weight package that results in absolutely no damage to those candy canes. So students will create whatever design they like and they will put it inside a lunch bag, and that is their shipping container. And they'll probably choose to add some other materials in there to keep the candy canes nice and safe. And then once they have their candy canes in this shipping container, they can either tie off the bag or just use a piece of tape. Then they're gonna weigh the container. Mine's 40 grams. This is where the fun part comes in. They need to then ship their containers. Now, what you can do is either just do a desk drop. So if this is the height of the desk, then I just drop it on the floor from there. Uh, you could also do rolling it down the stairs or tape off a line in the distance and students have to toss it over that line. Whatever process you choose for shipping, just make sure you share that with the students before they begin the design process so that they're aware exactly what their package is going to face so that they can design something that will keep the candy canes safe. Once the packages have been through the shipping process, the students will then remove their candy canes from the package and examine them closely to determine if there's any damage or any breaks. Looks like they made it. If you're looking for ways to make this a little bit more challenging for older students, you can either increase the number of candy canes that the students need to ship. You can also uh, choose a rougher shipper, shipping method like rolling it down the stairs or even sort of bowling it over a distance. And another thing you can do is have consecutive iterations where students have to reduce the weight of their package by a certain percentage. So whatever it is, mine was 40 grams in the first challenge, Maybe the second iteration, I can only have 75% of that weight, so I would have to be able to make it 30 grams or less. Since this is a challenge about not breaking the candy canes, it seems to me a natural extension here that you could talk about the difference between physical changes and chemical changes. Another great extension on this would be to research different shipping methods and maybe even hold a competition to see who can get the package guaranteed by Christmas in the cheapest way possible. This one's pretty straightforward. You have all the basics already, but as always, there is more. Check out the resource. This resource contains everything you need to guide your students through the Candy Cane Calamity Challenge, including modifications for use with second through eighth graders. You'll still need to gather the simple materials, of course, but the hard parts are done. You'll get aligned next-gen science standards, links to my STEM Challenge professional development videos to help you get the most from each challenge, and the Candy Cane Calamity materials list. In teacher tips, you'll find premise and setup, how to increase or decrease difficulty through the criteria and constraints list, measuring results and cross-curricular extension suggestions. You'll find an editable criteria and constraints list so you can tailor the challenge to your students. For student handouts, there are two versions, four-page expanded room for response for younger students and a two-page condensed space paper saver version. You'll also find a set of group discussion questions. In the extension handouts, you'll find a shipping research page, exploring physical and chemical changes notes and practice with answer key, as well as math extension and process flow templates. This resource is available individually and as part of the discounted Winter Christmas and Mega STEM Challenge bundles. Links can be found in the description below the video. Thanks so much for checking out this video. This is a really fun challenge and it's also really practical. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I will be back next week with Reindeer Relay. See you next time.